let's see. Da, da, da. What am I doing? Right. Um, this. I'm recording this with the hopes that I don't have to do like a million takes. Whoops. Keep forgetting that that is not the right button to use, but whatever. Anyways, last time we beat Metal Man, or at least Metal Man's musical twin. And now we're going to another place. I don't know exactly which one to go to next. But I suppose we can try out Flashman, why not? Maybe Flashman will be weak to music, I don't know why I'm thinking he would be, but he might be, we never know. Anyways, his level is very crystalline and sparkly because the guy did not want to change the rotating palette entirely. Wait, that's the... That would be the weapon we had last time. So, as you can see, we have... Oh, hey, it actually is still kind of useful. Except it seems to want to go in random directions unless you hold the direction. And that's good to know, and it's also infinite. So what's our three, dude? higher jump. And it actually takes energy. Huh. So I'm guessing that that is on purpose then, that it has the um, infinite energy on some weapons. So let's just sneak on by there. I don't remember exactly what gave me trouble in the initial playthrough of this, because I didn't try it before. Probably something to do with the ice physics, or at least the slippery physics, I wouldn't really call them ice physics, although this probably is ice. I don't remember, did Mega Man 2 have that in the original Flashman stage? I think it did? I don't know, it's been ages since I played through vanilla Mega Man 2. Okay, seriously. There we go. About to complain, and then it happens. Okay, so you have these guys that spit out a lot of bullets. So hopefully they're not immune to this bubble item. Although they still take a lot of hits. Okay, so what's the deal here? Finding this level design a little strange, but whatever. I figure that since going here was a little more difficult, this should probably be some sort of reward. Well, it does give us a slightly easier deal with Sniper Joe, but... I still hate this variant of him. Alright, let's music him. If we can. I mean, it's not like we have ammo or anything. Well, that makes him a little easier to deal with, but... Eh. Okay, real question is, do I want to deal with this guy? Not really. So let's take the lower route, as he goes off screen and jumps so high that he goes into space. And thus, all the Portal 2 fans start coming in and talking about how I said something for that Portal 2 happened to have said at one point, so... Ooh, there's, a uh, prizes to be had. And I somehow got them without dying. Um... I'd like to keep my mortality, possibly. Hopefully. Oh god! Probably about to die here. Yeah, that was obvious. So far, so good, I guess, and we're really starting here. Awesome! I love starting out on levels where I automatically get hit just by teleporting in. It is the greatest of video game design, and... I'm an idiot. So, is there any way... Yeah, you have to jump as soon as you come down. That is just terrible design, honestly. I can't think of too many games that punish the player for dying and then coming back. But whatever, I guess there was an extra life there, so I guess he felt like it was okay. I honestly wonder what goes on through the minds of some ROM hackers. Anyways, I think I'm going to sit here and farm for health. And we're back at full. Hopefully that stays that way for a little while. And as soon as I said that a little bit of text, well not text. Hello, I'm suddenly an RPG character. Hope you enjoy my commentary that is pre-written by somebody, and it's going to keep being the same commentary no matter where it's from. And so there's a bunch of traps here that we don't want to be hit by, but we don't necessarily have the choice sometimes. So can my three let me get up to the 
extra life up there, I wonder. Probably not. Uh, actually, it might. Right, I don't waste all of it right here. Oh, come on, really? Why does it, like... You move over a pixel when you use the super jump thing. And I just got myself killed. Excellent. There's so much excitement in this world. So during this little escapade, I found out that this weapon actually does use energy, but it takes so little of it that it would literally take you probably 30 minutes to run out of energy for it, so yeah. Considering how often these guys drop weapon energy, you'd think that this game would actually make it so you use it up in need, but the only ones you use it for are the items as far as I can tell. I mean, this one has pretty much unlimited ammo as long as you're not standing here firing it for six years. And I still haven't really run out, really. I mean, even still, these guys drop way too much of these little pellets, but they don't drop any health hardly. I don't know why they changed the drop rate for that, because honestly, whatever. I'm going to start back from here, but... All I can say is, if you're going to have a level with slippery physics, don't do precision platforming as an element. I mean, honestly, if you want to make your players suffer, it's a good way to do it, but... I mean, honestly, most of this precision crap is just so annoying and pointless. It's like, okay, I want people to play my game, but I don't want them to really have any fun with it, so I'm just going to fill it full of crap like that. So anyways, we're going to go see Flashman, get a free E-Tank, and I got two lives off of my farming from earlier, but I didn't get any more, so... Let's see, this is doing about as much as my other weapons do, so let's see if Bubble is more effective on you. Kind of? Also, until I actually memorize his pattern, I'm not going to be able to really effectively dodge him, so... Wow, you can't even press start? Are you kidding me? You can't even press start while fighting Flashman. That's... dumb. Also, look, I've actually used up some energy on my weapon. It's amazing. So, this is Flashman. He's got a light show going on. And I still can't pause, so I'm gonna have to beat him all in one go. What's the point of giving us E-Tanks if we can't even use them during the fight? You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna put a save state down because I am just that good at this game. I don't care. I just don't care anymore. If you're going to make a boss where you can't even use the things that they give you, like, after you select a weapon, and, like, at certain points after some part of the fight, you cannot press start. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I have bubbles sitting around, but normally in a Mega Man game, if there is a weapon that makes a part of it linger around, you can still open up the pause menu, and then you can, like, get rid of it, but... That usually happens by itself, and you don't have to do it like that, but whatever. There we go, complaining for no reason. Whatever. I guess I forgot about that mechanic because of how good this game is. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna keep complaining about it. There's no reason to make a game like this. I don't care if it's a fan game or not. I mean, I, that took like 20 minutes almost. And I barely have any footage to show for it. Anyways, there's the password. And... I think I'm going to go play Yoshi's Island, New Yoshi's Island now, because honestly... Next time, we will uh, investigate what our weapon is, and then we will take on another guy, I don't know who, probably Quick Man. 